here we are seeing a question from the topic sequences and series here question is find the sum to n terms the given series is 3 into 1 square plus 5 into 2 square plus 7 into 3 square and so on okay so in this type of question first of all you have to uh, set we have to recognize uh, the pattern of this series we have to understand the pattern of the series and so that we could get nth term first of all we need nth term here so nth term tn is how much just see the pattern of the series of these terms this is 3 into 1 square so 2 into 1 plus 1 you see here here first term t1 is 3 into 1 square this can be written as 2 into 1 plus 1 into 1 square second term t2 is 5 into 2 square 5 into 2 square so 2 into 2 plus 1 into 2 square third term is 7 into 3 square this can be written as 2 into 3 plus 1 into 3 square so in this way tn can be written as see this is 2 into 1 plus 1 is common everywhere so 2 into 1 2 into 2 2 into 3 so we have 2 into n plus 1 and this in first term this is 1 square in second term this is 2 square in third term this is 3 square so in n term this is n square so first of all you have to find out we have to write nth term so at tn is 2n plus 1 into n square or this tn can be written as after multiplication 2n cube plus n square correct so therefore sum to n terms which can be written as sigma tn this is sigma of 2n cube plus n square now this sigma will be distributed over both the terms so in first term 2 can this can be written as 2 into sigma n cube coefficient is always written outside the sigma notation so 2 into sigma n cube and in the second term this is sigma n square correct now in previous videos we have already discussed some formula sigma n cube means sum of cubes of first n natural numbers is n into n plus 1 by 2 whole square we have studied it and second is sigma n square so this is n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 divided by sorry n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 2n plus 1 divided by 6 so we are supposed to remember this formula very useful formula so this is equal to 2 into sigma n cube is this is n into n plus 1 by 2 this whole square and sigma n square is n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6 now we have to simplify it after simplifying it we will get the result so you see here we can take n into n plus 1 common you see the numerator n into n plus 1 is available in both the terms so we can take n into n plus 1 common and we can take 2 common in denominator this is 2 into 3 this is 2 into 2 so here 2 common in numerator is n into n plus 1 and denominator this is 2 correct so here n into n plus 1 will remain here n into n plus 1 remain here in numerator and denominator this is 2 after taking this much common 
and in the second term this is 2 n plus 1 divided by 3 correct. Now, let us simplify it 2 will be cancel out. So, this is n into n plus 1 and here we will take LCM, LCM will be 6, 2 3 is 6, 3 will be multiplied with here. So, n into n plus 1 is n square plus n into 3. So, 3 n square plus 3 n okay. and here LCM is 6. So, 3 2 is 6, 2 will be multiplied with this numerator. So, 4 n plus 2, 4 n plus 2 correct and this is equal to n into n plus 1 we can write this 6 outside here and here 3 n square plus 7 n plus 2 correct. Now, we can factorize this expression this is quadratic expression. So, this can be factorized. So, this is equal to n into n plus 1 divided by 6 and by splitting the middle term we can write it 6 n plus n plus 2 and this is equal to n into n plus 1 divided by 6 and from first two terms we can take 3 n common. So, 3 n is common remaining expression will be n plus 2 n plus 2 and in the second term n plus 2 is already here. So, you can write this 1 into n plus 2 correct. Now, we are getting the result here. So, this required sum is equal to n into n plus 1 here n plus 2 will be common from each of these two terms. So, this is n plus 2 and 3 n plus 1, 3 n plus 1 divided by 6 correct. So, this is the answer. So, in this type of problem first of all you have to write nth term then apply sigma in each term and use this formula will get the answer very easily. The question is very interesting and very important as well. So, thank you very much for watching this video wish you all the best.